Is, is it okay that I share this uh, video with uh, the company and with future investors? Yeah, that's, that's completely fine. Perfect. So explain to me why you chose real estate sales over the other coaching companies. Well, I guess it's just, you know, sometimes you trust your gut. It was a gut feeling after speaking with a couple of different folks uh, with the organization and, you know, did due diligence, looked into what I could online and, you know, everything just felt right. And so, uh, yeah, that's really, I guess, the, the best response I can give you. One of my favorite questions, would you refer a friend or family member to real estate sales? Uh, most certainly, if they're looking to do this type of, um, you know, investing, if they're interested in it, yes, most definitely, I would suggest that they, they check you guys out and uh, um, get involved with you if that's where they're, they're leaning towards, because I've had nothing but uh, a positive feedback thus far in the three months or so that we've been, been working together. Awesome. What's the most enjoyable part for you? Oh boy. You know, the, probably just helping the seller transact, you know, and get this property taken care of. My favorite part of that question is, is if you were going to tell you when you're trying to make a decision on whether you're going to join real estate sales or not, what yeah. would you say to you? I would say don't overthink it because that was my problem. I, I actually looked into your company, not yours, but you know, the, you know, real estate investment company a couple of years ago and didn't pull the trigger then. Um, right. I was just in a different point with, you know, my, my other businesses, but, uh, I had the time, um, and I just didn't do it for one reason or the other. I couldn't tell you why, but I, I just sort of maybe talked myself out of it or, thought maybe it's more than I, you know, want to bring on with the other stuff that I was doing. So that's what I would tell my myself if I could go back, you know, two two years ago and say, hey, get into this. Get going now. You know? So what was the major deciding factor? I mean, I know it was your gut feeling, but what was the major deciding factor? Was it the leads? Was it the, the mentors? It was, a, you know, just a, a accumulation of, it, of both of those things. Um, I think the lead program, the way it was described to me, how, you know, obviously it's very scrubbed and updated very frequently. And so I don't know if maybe even yourself, you said that, you know, the, the value that you saw uh, early on was the leads and maybe... I don't remember if it was you or not, but I, I, I got that from a few other folks too. So um, yeah, leads uh, I, in my previous business, leads are very important. Um, so the process that you know you were using to, to utilize and scrub them you know, appealed to me. Uh, and then, yeah, the coaching is very important. When you have somebody who you can contact, you know, I mean, obviously you want to give you, you guys a little bit of uh, lead time, but uh, pretty much, you know, the same day you're getting back to us. And that's wonderful. Right. Great. So do you think that uh, the, the coaches, well, I'm your coach, but do you think the coaches lived up to your expectation? Thus far? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's a hard question when I'm your coach, but it's also important to know, Hey, am I lacking somewhere? Is there something you're expecting that, that I'm not delivering? And to me, that's important. No, I mean, in all honesty, um, we don't know each other, obviously, but uh, I'm the type of person that if there's an issue and I feel something is not quite right, I'm going to voice that opinion. Um, and you know, I get the sense that you're that type of person as well. So, uh, yeah, no, I've not felt anything's lacking whatsoever. Um, so everything looks to be going the direction I had anticipated thus far. Good. So how important is it that your mentor is also an investor? Well, I'd say very important simply for, because, you know, you're there doing what I want to be doing right. and, and starting to do. And so I don't think there's any better teacher than somebody who's actually in the game themselves doing it daily. Right. Uh, that's my opinion. But, uh, you know, it's very easy to tell somebody to go do this, but have it never done it yourself. All right, it's all theory, you know, so theory is proven right here, so. Right, right. Do you feel like you've gotten the tools to succeed up to this point? 
Yeah, up to this point I do. I mean, <clears throat> the organizational element with the spreadsheets and, you know, and, and everything, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very in tune. So I think that, that tool is very important. Um, you know, the tutorials online showing you how to utilize different things like, uh, you know, Zillow and, you know, the, the phone system and all these types of things. It's, it's been really, really, you know, wonderful to use. So, um, so how long after you sent your first batch of letters, did you get your first call, phone call? Oh, it took a, it took a couple of uh, weeks, I'd say. Um, I don't have that info in front of me right now, but uh, yeah, I, I remember asking you that question. I had, I think we had sent out two weeks and it was getting ready to send the third week's uh, leads and I hadn't gotten any responses yet. And then that week I ended up getting uh, two or if not three or four responses. And then it just, you know, after that, it seemed like it clicked. I would always seem to be getting one or two, if not multiple uh, calls, emails, texts, whatever uh, within the week. So it, it just took a couple of weeks to get ramped up. So once you got the contract signed, cause you've sold one, um, how long from the date of si signing the contract to the date of sale? So, um, how was your experience working with the sellers? I mean, it, it was good for you. Yeah. The, the first ones, I mean, you know, yes. Uh, subsequent ones haven't been bad at all, but people are people. And so, you know, you sort of run into different personalities. Um, do you agree that the, we, the way we have it laid out, that it's pretty turnkey? Yeah, I, I think you do. Um, you know, you're not here walking us to the appointments and, and, you know, calling people on the phone for us. But, you know, at some point you have to walk yourself in that regard. But, no, I think it is turnkey. You give us the tools, right? You know, you give us the tutorials. You know, there's things that you can, you're, you're giving us to do in a stage, you know, element to say, okay, here's what you do with, you know, this section and, and once you get this completed, we'll move on to the next section. And, you know, you're holding our hand in that regard. So I guess, yes, you, it is relatively turnkey. So how many hours a week do you spend on this? Oh, geez. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say a tremendous amount. I, I mean, I'm starting to do more because my situation is unique in that I, I, I recently sold, you know, my, my retirement and insurance practice and, and tax preparation firm. So I'm completely removed from that now as of the end of August. So I wasn't putting a lot of time forth um, hour wise. I mean, I was still probably putting in at least 15 to 20 hours a week while I was transitioning out of those, those businesses. Um, but, you know, again, I don't think this is something that you need to be spending 80 hours at unless you're that type of personality, you know, I mean, yep. you know, you do the system, you make your, you know, mailings to fulfillment, you follow up with the people contacting you, uh, you, you know, you, you reach out to different organizations. If you're new like me to pick people's minds and set up, as you say, you know, face to faces like this or coffee, um, even in these times, but, um, you know, the time I'd say right now, average, like I said, 15 hours or 20 hours a week, I'll probably see more time going into this because I have more time now right. uh, to devote to it. But, yeah, um, so you can focus that, a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But I don't, again, if the point is you don't need to be spending 40 plus hours a week to do this. I mean, if, if you don't have that time, that should hopefully put your mind at rest that, Hey, I can still do this. If I can only devote maybe, you know, eight to 10 hours a week, you know, you're probably, you're still going to be successful if you follow the, the blueprint. Yeah, follow the process. Yeah.